hello bloggers welcome to key to blogging and in this video i will show you how you can design a section like this to your wordpress website so as you can see i have added social media links here and i have added a little bit of text and i have added the email box like this so that user can easily enter the email address and subscribe to your blog and it will integrate your mailchimp account and whenever someone put the email address it will add the that email address to your mailchimp account so how you can do that so here i am using the cadence block plugin to achieve this so you can also do it very easily in your wordpress website using the cadence block plugin so let me just go to my dashboard and let me just open the pages here and let me just create a new page to show this how it works so i have opened a blank page here and let's design that section so for this i will click on the plus icon and i will simply search for row layout and here as you can see there are three section in this row layout so i will simply choose three equal row layout and i can adjust the width like 25 percent for this first section and i can adjust something like 30 percent for the second section and i will adjust it like 45 percent for the third section so let me just add the social icon here so i will simply search for icon or you can either use this icon or you can use the social icon so in that case let me just use this icon here and i will click on show more settings and i will select it and increase the number of icons here now i will click on icon number one and i can simply search for my favorite social media icons so let's search for facebook although i don't have facebook account okay so let's add the facebook icon here now let's change the second icon like twitter and let's click on icon 3 and let's add icon like youtube okay i have added three icons and you can add the link of this icon here here in the link field and you can also open this link in a new tab so let me just add some blank link here so let's select icon 2 let's add the link and i can open this link in a new tab so social media link should be opened in new tab so let's select here open open this in a new tab okay now i have added the social media icons you can change the icon color from here like this now let's add the second section so for this i will use the advanced text field here so i will use the advanced text here and i will type like sign up to get access to actionable tips so let me just add this sign up to get actionable tips in your email box like that and i will add a form here in the third section so i will simply search for form here and i will add the form i will delete the name field i will delete the message field and let's select the email field here and i will select this option and i will uncheck the show level and i will add a placeholder so i will add a placeholder like email address and let's decrease the column width through something like 50 percent or let's say 60 percent here now let's close the email setting here and i will simply search for submit style here now let's change the column width so as we have set the column width of email address to 60 percent here for button i will select the 40 percent okay now the submit button is added like this but it will not properly aligned here so let's change it to something like medium here and i will select the full here now let's select the section here and i will select align middle okay now let's select the whole section here and let me just use theme inner content width and i will select full width and i also select the 
whole page as full width now let's click on save draft here now i also add a background color to this whole row layout section so i will select background setting here and i can add a background color like this so let's add the background color here and you can also select the text and change the color to white okay now the section is added let me just select it to align middle now let's drag it a little bit here so let's change it to 20 percent from here now let's click on save draft here now let's click on preview and we have to add a padding from the top and bottom here so let's click on here and let's stop padding to something like 40 and bottom padding to 40 okay now the padding is set to 40 and you can also reduce this bottom section here so let's add a demo section at the top so that it will stick to the footer here so i will click on design library here and let's add a demo section from here so let's add the hero section here okay now let's make it to the top here and let's add another section after it so let's insert after here and let me just add a spacer here or let's add a row layout here and let's make the padding so let's 50 and let's add the bottom padding to 50 so let's check how it looks in the front end okay so there is a space below this section so what i can do is add negative padding sorry, sorry add negative margin here so let's add a negative margin in the bottom so let's add minus 27 and you can also disable a settings like content vertical padding so let's disable it now let's save the draft now let's preview this section okay i think we need to add more negative padding here so let's select this one select let's change it to like 29 and let's change it to like something 50 and top to 50 okay now let's preview this section again as you can see we have almost done it so we need to let's add something like minus 32 pixel padding okay as you can see now it is completely stick to the footer section so we need to fix this section submit style it is not showing in in the same alignment with the email address so we need to fix this section so to fix this issue to make it align center you need to go to your edit page here and you need to select the form here now let's close this one and here you will see this option field style so just select this field style option here and here you will see this option field row gap so by default it is set to some value so we need to make it zero so you need to find this option under the field style here in the form and then you need to make the field row gap to zero so now let's save this draft and let me just preview this again now scroll down and as you can see it is now perfectly aligned to the center of email address so in this way we can design a section like this and let me just show you what are the ch more changes needed so you can customize the button here and you can add more social links here so let's select the submit style here and let me just change the submit to subscribe and i can change the input color to white and change the background color to this red here so sorry I have selected the email field here so I need to select the submit style here and let's change the color to white and add the background color to red and in hover section let's add the background color to something like black 
so when i hover this it will show a black background and for this i will add a hover border color so let's add white so let's change the border width to one pixel like that and as you can see the border color is now shown and you can also adjust the width of this section so let's make it 50 percent let's change it to 30 percent and let's set this to 20 percent and let's change the icon color from here or let's keep it as white so it will look good here so you can also add more icons by clicking on this button here like this so let's save the draft and let's preview this here and as you can see it is now perfectly aligned and looking good now let's check it for mobile here so as you can see in mobile view the text is showing in left align so you can make it center align here in mobile devices so for this you can just select this whole row layout and click on the mobile alignment here and here you can select this option and under the mobiles tab you need to click on center align now let's click on save draft and let's review this and as you can see the text is now in center align and the icons are in center align and it is looking quite good in mobile devices okay now we have completed the design now it's time to integrate this form with mailchimp so you can easily do that just by going to the edit page here and just select the form here so let me just change it to desktop mode here first let's select the form here and here you will see this option action after submit so instead of email you can select mailchimp here and here one thing to note that to add mailchimp you need to get the pro version of the cadence blocks plugin and in free version you can get something like mailer light or send in blue i think i am not sure about that so to add mailchimp just select the mailchimp here in the action after submit and let's scroll down and here you will see this option mailchimp settings so here you need to get the api from your mailchimp so i have discussed this in a, in my previous video you can get the link in the description and then here you need to select the audience from here and here you can select also tag here let's click on required double opt-in and in email field you need to select the email field here so now the setup is done and whenever someone enter the email address and click on subscribe button it will get the email and add it to your mailchimp subscription list and to add mailchimp you need to get the pro version of cadence blocks plugin otherwise you can use some plugins like mailchimp to design a form like this and add it instead of cadence block plugin so if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and i will see you in the next video thank you